This is Gene Wood speaking for Family Feud. The Mark Goodson Television Production. It's time for the Family Feud, introducing the Blair family. Phil, Phil Sr., Mary Jo, Jeff, and Mike, ready for action. And the Sierra family. Christina, Carla, Letty, Dolores, and Raquel. On your mark, let's start the Family Feud. With the star of Family Feud. Richard Dalton! How are you, darling? You look gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Gene Wood, front, forward, please. Yes. Mr. Gene Wood, my best friend, right here. <laughs> How are you? I'm terrific. Uh, this is from all the gang here. A bottle of champagne. Happy birthday. I just found out it's your birthday. Uh. Get off. The strange thing is last year it was in April. <laughs> Madison, the champs, the Blair. Hello again, Richard. How are you? Really good. How much money now? $6,822. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> You'll be able to buy the folks at Channel 27 a lemonade each when you get back. <laughs> uh, let's meet everybody, please. Like you to meet my father, Phil Sr. Uh, Big Phil, I call him. Hi, Richard. Hi, Phil. And my mother, Mary Jo. Hello, my darling. Hi, Richard. My little brother, Jeff. That's ridiculous. Hey. He's big. <laughs> How are you? And my littler brother, Mike. Yeah, Michael. Hey, We've got to uh, feed some brain food, a lot of fish to Michael, because although he enjoys life and plays the game very well, he forgets the tours that he goes on. <laughs> that, yes, he does. Yeah, make these lovely people feel at home, please. Sierra! How you doing? Thank you. You're awesome. Beautiful. Can I meet everybody, please? Yes, this is the youngest sister of the family, Carla. Hello, Hi, Carla. Richard. Next in line is Letty. Letty. Hi, Richard. Hi, Letty. My oldest sister, Dolores. Hello, Hi, Richard. Dolores. And our beautiful mother, Raquel. Uh, you're Hello, gorgeous. Richard. Thank you. Like your sister. Pardon me? Your mom's like your sister. Raquel, you're just exquisite. Thank you. It, they look like five sisters, don't they? In Thank fact, you. I'd like to take them all out. <laughs> uh, who's married? Me. I am married to. Promise. <laughs> Hold on a second. <gasps> now, two of you put your hands up, but you said, I am married. Does, I, I am. Does this mean Dolores isn't? Well, I no. am married. You are married. <laughs> There's just a little rivalry going yes. on? Yes. No. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to find out what this is about. Uh, why would you say that? You're both lovely ladies. You have lots of rings on. Yeah, why did you say that? Yeah. Because she's not the only one with a wonderful family. Oh, I oh. see. Oh, I see. That is why. Well, if I'm going to talk to someone with a wonderful family, I'm going to talk to your mom here. I'm sure. You look gorgeous. Thank you. And your turquoise. Elegant, huh? Gives a new meaning to the word, elegant. Thank you. You're beautiful. Where do you live? In Pomona. I'm going to move there tomorrow morning. <laughs> Come, we'll play the feud. Let's go. <laughs> 100 people surveyed. Top five answers on the board. you got to try and get the most popular answer. Here's the question. Name something kids do for which they always seem to use the excuse everybody else does it. So, have sex. <laughs> oh. 
a nice way for the first alderman thing to uh, talk. Every time he gets up here, that's all he ever says. Have sex! <laughs> no. Your reputation's been it's saved not. again. <laughs> Christina. Stay out late at night. Stay out late! Come on. We're going to play. We're going to play. Okay. All right. Very good. Now I get to meet you all. How you doing? Hi. Welcome to our show. Uh, something the kids do for which they always seem to use the excuse everybody else does it. Smoke. Uh-huh. They smoke! <laughs> you are married? Yes. Okay. <laughs> well? Well, I'm gonna say they ditch school. They okay. don't go to class. All righty. They ditch okay. school! Okay. Not there. That was a good answer. Didn't make our five, that's all. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. I'm going to say drink. Yeah, OK. Good they both. Yeah. This is probably easy for you, isn't it, with all these uh, children around? Well, I think so. I'm going to say wear makeup. Uh-huh. Yeah. Remember my younger boy? Yeah. Makeup. Not that. Oh. Well, when you get a lot of pretty girls, you'll give that sort of an answer. Uh, well, what would you think, Christina? I think I would say, borrow the car. <laughs> borrow the car. <laughs> All right. If that's there, okay. And if not, third strike. They borrow the car. Oh. Not that. $66. Phil, Phil, Mary Jo, Jeff, Mike. Uh, don't knock your mother over, Jeff, or I'll give you a clip around the ear. <laughs> Doing okay. homework. Not doing homework. Don't, don't I need an answer. Not doing their homework. Don't yell in my ear. Just repeat it out. <laughs> they don't uh, do their homework. You get the sixty-six dollars. If not, Christine and the ladies get it. Homework won't do it. <laughs> Number three. those who cheered those last two, we want your names. We'll be back right after. It's time to switch to Verizon. Sadie did, and now she has my plan. The first unlimited plan that lets her choose exactly what goes in it. Now she gets to pick only the perks she wants and saves on every one. All with an incredible new iPhone. Act now and get iPhone 14 Pro on us when you switch. It's your Verizon. 66, nothing. Let's go. Today. 100 people surveyed top five answers on the board. Here's the question. There's a new generation of Kennedys growing up. Name one. Joseph oh. Jr. Joseph Jr. <laughs> Not there. A John Jr. A John? <laughs> okay. We're going to play. Most tentative, a hey, John. <laughs> it worked. There's a new generation of candidates growing up. Name one, please. I will say Carolyn. Okay, Carolyn. <laughs> Hello. Bobby Junior. Uh huh. Bobby Junior, please. Joan? Pardon? Joan? Joan? All right. Joan! <laughs> oh. well, no, there is a Joan, but she is grown up. <laughs> yeah, she's a grown up uh, candidate. New generation of uh, Kennedys growing up. Name one, please. Um. Mary. <laughs> one of my favorites. All right. You don't read a lot about her, though, do you? She's very... She's very shy. Very, very quiet. Mary! <laughs> oh. <laughs> a Ted. A Ted. Yeah. Right. yeah. Good if a Ted is there, okay. If not, a third strike will appear. A Ted? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, my no. tip would be whoever you say, say A in front of it. <laughs> Seems to have worked here. Okay. Name a new generation of Kennedys who are growing up. Uh, um, Not um, A. A. A Richard. A Richard. <laughs> Scrub the oh, A. <laughs> Is there all right if not? Third strike. <laughs> Ricardo. Oh. $92. Bill? Edward. Edward, Richard. All right, sir. If Edward's there, you get $92. If not, big lead for the ladies. Edward! <laughs> Five. That's it. Well, they're really cooking over here. In fact, you could almost call them the High Sierras. We'll be back. Right after this. Buzzer's Pick and Play Summer and your chance to win. Each week, go to buzzertv.com, vote for your favorites, and we'll air the winners. See how it works now? While you're there, be sure to enter our drawing, where you could win gift cards or our $500 grand prize. Good luck. Your chance to win is just clicks away on Buzzer. Let's play. Look at it here, 158. Not seen this for a long time. Nothing for my champs. Mary Jo. <laughs> Once we get that good luck fist going, uh, we'll this be on it. the road to recovery here. <laughs> 100 people surveyed, top six answers on the board. Here's the question. Name a flower that lots of people grow at home. Yes. Uh, daisies. Daisy. Oh. Roses. Mary Jo said roses. Yeah. Yeah. Play pass. Play, 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 play. They're going to play. I guess. They're going to play. <laughs> Let's see a little while. Okay. Well done, honey. What are you? How are you today? Really good. Very good, very good. Know anything about flowers? A uh, little. Uh, give <laughs> me a little flower, people growing home. I will say tulip. Take a look. Okay. Tulip. Great. Right. There's my buddy. Different set of boy. Man of uh, many changes. And you're a nifty dresser. Flower that lots of people grow at home. Mike. Violet. Violet. Yeah. Violet? Yeah. 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 
Richard, let's try mums. Oh, good answer. Mum! Oh! It amazed me, that. Big mum. Big dad. What do you say? flower is a geranium. Geranium? Oh, yeah. All right. Anyone uh, grow geraniums at home? They did. Well done, Phil. Two of them left and uh, only one strike. Oh, I have two in mine. Um, let's say pansies. Pansies, yeah. Okay, madame. We'd love some pansies. <laughs> Not that. The only flower I can think of is daffodil. Oh, good one. Good one. one. A good answer. Sort of a Dutch guy, though, with flowers, isn't he? <laughs> Tulips and daffodils. <laughs> daffodil there, okay. If not, third strike. Daffy! <laughs> oh, not there. $80 up there. Darling's hey, come hey, down. I need an answer. The answer is... <laughs> Quick. Gardenias! All right, because they buzz once they buzz. Them. Okay. <laughs> The answer is... <laughs> if it's there, big lead. If not, Phil gets into the game with the $80. Gardenia! Oh. Great! <laughs> my sweet petunia. Five. Up my show. 158 plays 80. Let's go. Dollar values are doubled. 100 people surveyed. Top four answers on the board. Here's the question. Name something you do to a pack of playing cards. Yeah. You deal them. You deal them. Yeah. Two answers will be it. Shuffle. You shuffle them. Yeah. Play or pass? Play, play. We're going to play, Richard. Very good. Uh, pack of playing cards. What do you do to them? You buy them. <laughs> Very hard to shuffle okay, them. Okay, okay, Got a spring for them first. Yeah. <laughs> buy a pack of cards. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, but it's all right. That made sense to me. Something you do to a pack of playing cards. You play tricks. Card oh, tricks. Yeah. Card oh, tricks. Good. You do tricks. Oh. We just had a magician on a couple yeah. of uh, shows ago. I thought it was there. Play poker. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. That's there all right, if not third strike. Poker! Yeah. That's the way to do it, darling. Give me the correct answer, you'll be the champs, and you'll play for five thousand oh, dollars. Something you do to a pack of playing cards. Well, uh, I don't know if everyone does this, but when I was little, we used to build houses with the cards. Good, good, answer. Answer. good, good, answer. Answer. Oh, good answer. That's a great answer, Don. If it's there, you're the champs. If not, get ready to steal them. You build houses. Oh. No, one eighty-two. I still need a correct answer. You cut a deck of cards. You do indeed, sir. If it's there, the game goes on. If not, you're the champs. You cut them. Yeah. All right. 262, 158. Let's go. Yeah. Dollar values are tripled. This is going to decide it. 100 people surveyed. Top four answers on the board. Here's the question. Name something a woman needs to make a dress. Yeah. A sewing machine. Sewing machine? Two answers will beat it. Material. Material? Yeah. You got it. What are you going to do? Good one. Okay. All right. Name something a woman needs to make a dress. Go. Thread. Thread? Thread. Three seconds, Phil. Scissors! Scissors there, you keep your title. Scissors! There you go. A pattern. Aha. Gain, if it's there, you got it. If not, second strike. Pattern! There we go. There we 
great day. Oh, yeah. We'll make it two hundred and fifty dollars, so you won't have lots of arguments. Okay. You're gorgeous. We have nice prizes for you. Thank you. And uh, after a while, I'm sure you'll be able to go on the nighttime show because you're gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. Home for the money, right after we watch this. Good to the Take it wherever. With whomever. This is the no-holds-barred, multi-purpose vehicle with the capacity to take life on. And the audacity to say, what else you got? The Kia Carnival MPV. Kia, movement that inspires. Truth to a real Leonard Wolf. Please stand up. And consequences. <laughs> to tell the truth and the newlywed game. Tonight, starting at 8. Let's go for two in a row, okay? okay. 15 seconds, please. <phone rings> tell me the hour at which you wake up without an alarm clock. 8 o'clock. A sport the family plays together. Uh, tennis. Something that has a cord attached. A lamp. One of the seven dwarfs. Uh, it's dopey. Something feathers are used for. Uh, hats. Turn around. <laughs> so I wish you wake up without an alarm clock. You said eight. That be said. Twenty-four. Sport the family plays together. The board family. Tennis. Survey. Twenty-one. Something has a cord attached. A lamp. Survey said. One of the seven walks, you said, Hervé? Uh, no, I'm sorry, don't be said. Hervé Zip? And feathers are used for a hat. Survey said, nicely done. Please back there to the top of me. Good one for Phil Junior. 83 points. You get the money again. Please remind everyone the answer is Jeff Gavis. 20 seconds on the clock, please. Do da. Tell me the hour at which you wake up without an alarm clock. Seven o'clock. A sport the family plays together. Baseball. Something that has a cord attached. Lamp. Try again. Hair dryer. One of the seven dwarfs. Sleepy. Something feathers are used for. Making pillows. Turn around. <laughs> the hour at which you wake up without an alarm clock. Seven o'clock, eight o'clock, they tied for the top. Oh, good. Survey said, Vinny Vaughn. Both the family plays together, you said, baseball. Number one answer, survey. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Something that has a cord attached. Lamp was number one. You said, hair dryer. Survey said, 
Four. Oh. One of the seven dwarfs. You said? Sleepy. Sleepy. He's number one. If he's worth 30, you got five grand. Survey said? Yeah! <laughs> What do you do uh, with the feathers? Pillows. They're getting smarter by the minute. We love you. We'll see you here on The Feud. Bye-bye. Some departed contestants receive Probe, the word pursuit game that challenges players to uncover their opponent's secret word. Probe from Parker Brothers. From Aubrey McDonald Creations, an outstanding collection of fashion jewelry. Create versatile and affordable designs for you from Aubrey Creations. Clean Air by Ronco, the new anti-pollution machine that removes offensive odors and harmful pollutants from the indoor air you breathe from Ronco. From Boss Manufacturing Company, two pairs of floral-designed ladyfinger garden gloves and two pair of Turfman all-purpose men's cowhide work gloves. They're from Boss. This is Gene Wood speaking for Family Feud. A Mark Goodson television production. It's time for the Family Feud. Introducing the Blair family. Phil, Phil Sr., Mary Jo, Jeff, and Mike, ready for action. And the Sambar family. Chuck, Mary, Shaddy, Al.